I've never been down this way before. To the third veil, sir. Been a while since I was in Good Neighbor. Must have been a few years. It's good to see a few familiar faces, even if they are made out of metal. But for now, I got my boy Jerry. He's all I need. A scotch, please, buddy. Coming right up. That'll be five caps, please, sir. Who's the singer? Magnolia, sir. Beware. She's a man eater. He gives me purpose in this life. The least I can do is make sure he's protected. He's a good boy. Had him a while now. Rescued him from a gas station. At least it was before the war. Everything's different now, but we get by. We take what we can and make the most of it. However, the nutrition of squirrel stew is something I didn't want to have to get used to. But we've had some trouble, though, in the past, but we always managed to pull through. So we got ourselves a tough guy, eh? There ain't nobody a match for a detective with a Smith & Weston 357 Magnum revolver. Some people find out the hard way. The cases get lined up, and I just keep knocking them down. It's dangerous these days. I've had plenty of work protecting people. Glad to hear. Listen, I gotta run. See you soon. Before the nuclear bombs, I was just a family man haunted by my experiences in the war. I've seen things no man should ever have to see. But my family, they made my life vibrant. But now, now there's nothing to smile about. When the day came, we weren't ready at all. We took nothing, we just ran. And then it happened. I'll never forget that sound. And then we hid on the ground from the fallout. Only I made it. A deadly disease wiped out everyone underground. My war experiences made me immune, although I wish it didn't. That blast caused by the leaders of the world, the ones who started the wars never fight them. But all I know is this boy Jerry right here, he brings the color back into my life. <laughs>